Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jamie Gower, and I'm here to tell you a truth you probably already know. The cyborgs are among us. I, myself, am an estimated two ten-thousandths of a percent by weight cyborg. It was an interesting process, a process I was not expecting, but I kind of enjoyed it nonetheless, and I'm about to explain it to you. Your mileage may vary if you try this. In fact, I cannot really recommend this process uh, because of the first step, which is have a heart attack. That happened to me about two and a half years ago. Um, I, I was not expecting it. It was one of those events like uh, Dear New England Medical Journal, I didn't believe your letters were true until this event that happened to me, which I'd like to share with you. Uh, one Sunday morning, a section of uh, arterial plaque got loose and lodged in my right coronary artery, and that's the one circled in green here. Um, so my heart, which had to keep beating, now part of it was going without oxygen, and I felt the burn. So what, why would this happen to a healthy, relatively young man of 47? Well, some of it is lifestyle issues, but in my case, my lifestyle was pretty darn good. It got down to bummer DNA. I'm one of those people that has high cholesterol. So I'm having a heart attack. My heart is dying. What do I need to do? I need to get to a hospital. And this is probably the one single smart thing I did that day was I called 911. If it's a big medical emergency, you don't want to drive yourself. You got to get there. You got to call 911 because, and this was a phrase we heard that day, time is muscle. A uh, heart attack is called a myocardial infarction, which means death of muscle, basically. And uh, the, more the more time spent, the more you're going to lose. And you want to have as much heart muscle as possible. I had an emergency angioplasty with stents. And remember the stents, because that's where the cyborg comes in. The emergency angioplasty, they punch a hole in your femoral artery. They go up the middle of your body with a, a, a catheter. They stick a balloon in the blockage, and they inflate it, smashing the balloon against the walls of your vessel. The stent is a wire cage that goes around that balloon. It expands with the balloon. When the balloon is withdrawn, it remains. You can see one wrapped here around a balloon as we speak. And that was a really interesting process, which, uh, believe it or not, I was awake for the entire thing. Oh, no, it wasn't that bad. It was kind of cool, actually. I got to see my arterial. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Observe what's happening to him. Same thing happened to me. I got a hole in my femoral artery. So the next phase is not to bleed out. Because not only do you get the hole, but they hand you a fistful of anticoagulants so you don't move for many hours. There's one nurse whose job was just to yell at me every time I moved my head. That's how important it was to stay still. So, and I can't remember what I was going to talk about next, but I'm going to find out here. Now, remember I said that um, time is muscle. Well, you want to find out the damage. Was there any damage to your heart? Now, I got to find out, there's different ways they can find this out. Mine was the best named. I had a nuclear stress test, and there I am now having it. A nuclear stress test, they put you on a treadmill, and they say, tell us 30 seconds before you're exhausted, and I was then, but I waited. They and then inject you with radioactive glucose. Now, obviously, the parts of your heart that are still alive... They absorb the glucose. So and this is one case where glowing radioactive heart equals good. <laughs> so I now have two um, stainless steel polymer coated cages in my heart. And you can take a look at the process. And I, this is the thing. The process was more interesting than I thought it was going to be. I actually had a, a decent time. About 8.15, I started feeling bad. By 10.15, I was fixed. It was over. All the recovery was from the effects of the heart attack and the effects of having a hole in my groin. So what was cool? I got to watch the process as it, as it happened. I saw my cardiac arteries. They look like, kind of like a spider humping my heart. Um, <laughs> nuclear stress test, what does that say to you? To me, it says superpowers. I'm still waiting, but I'm hoping it's going to happen. What was a bummer? I was too sick to enjoy the ambulance ride. The sirens was going and everything. Um, if you're recuperating in the hospital, don't read horror novels. Um, <laughs> Just my, my advice to you. And nobody ever said stat. That was a bummer, too. So this is what I did to become part cyborg. I don't recommend it. What I recommend you do is find out about the warning signs of heart attack, find out about the things you can do to keep yourself healthy, find out about your family history, work with your doctor, 
to stay alive until the transhumanist singularity and get your consciousness transferred to a shiny new android body. Until then, live long and prosper. Thank you.